Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Erica and I'm so glad that you are here for today's crafty tutorial because today I'm showing you guys how to make your very own trinket dishes out of plaster. So if you're curious to see how I made these, then keep watching. All right guys, so for this craft, you're going to need a few things. So I got this perfect plaster pottery and ceramics mixture from Hobby Lobby. It was only $7.99 for this eight pound bag. So I can do multiple projects with this, but make sure that you get that pottery and ceramics one because there are different types for different types of projects. This is the kind that you're gonna need for this type of craft. You're also going to need some water to mix up with the plaster to make the mixture. So you will also need a measuring cup. Mine is already in this bag. And then you'll need something to mix everything in. I'm gonna be making three different mixtures. So I'm using three separate plastic cups and three big popsicle sticks to stir the mixture with. And then I'm using my old resin silicone molds that I got off of Amazon. And because I'm using three different molds, I wanted to try three different types of mixtures. So in one of my mixtures, I'm gonna be adding some acrylic paint to pigment my plaster mixture. And then in one of the other mixtures, I'm gonna be using mica pigment powder to color my mixture. And then the last mixture, I'm just gonna leave as is. I'm not gonna color it. I just wanna see what the natural color is when it completely dries and cures. And you'll notice that some of my trinket trays have like some really pretty metallic foil flakes on them. I put silver on one and gold flakes on the other. So I just wanted to see how they would turn out with my plaster. With all that being said, I'm super excited to jump into it. So let's get started. All right guys, so this plaster mixture is two parts plaster, one part water. So I'm using one third cup water. And I'll be doing two thirds cup plaster in each mixture. And I also want to take a second to warn you guys that this stuff sets up pretty quick. So if you're doing multiple projects like I am, I highly recommend that you just mix one at a time so that your other mixtures don't start hardening up while you're still working on your first project. So with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and set two cups aside and then I'm just gonna work on one for now. So I'm gonna add two thirds cup of the plaster into this one third cup of water. So it looks really runny, but it's gonna start thickening up. So this one, I'm not gonna be adding anything to. I just want this one to be that natural, neutral color. I wanna see exactly how it dries, which I have a pretty strong feeling. It's gonna dry like the same color that this mixture is, but I'm gonna go ahead and pour it in one of my little molds here. Ooh, and that was like just enough for that mold. So I'm just kind of using my popsicle stick that I stirred it with just to kind of make sure that it's all spread evenly, like all the way to the edges. And then I'm gonna like let it set for just a couple minutes. And then we're going to tap it to try to get any bubbles that are on the top to rise and pop. And we'll go ahead and start mixing up the next mixture. Okay, in this one, I'm gonna add a little bit of the blue acrylic paint to. Look at that texture. <laughs> Okay, and then now for the last one. And this one, we're gonna be putting a little bit of mica pigment powder in.
So my plaster directions say that you can leave this setting for about 30 minutes and then you are able to demold but then it has to set for 24 hours to completely harden and cure. Well, just to be safe, we're gonna let mine set for an hour and then we'll come back and demold them. All right guys, so it has actually been like an hour and a half. So we're gonna go ahead and demold these and check them out. Look how nice this looks. Okay, so I love the color of this one. Um, this is the one that we did with that blue acrylic paint, but look at the edges. It obviously didn't like go all the way down or there were like bubbles down there. Oh well, let's go ahead and demold the last one. Ooh, this one looks really nice too. So two out of the three turned out, I'll take that. So this just goes to show you, you really wanna make sure that you get all of that plaster mixture in all of the crevices in your mold and really make sure you get those bubbles out of there. But other than that, I love how these ones came out. So the instructions now say that after you demold them that you're supposed to just let it set for 24 hours to completely cure and harden. So I know that these aren't gonna look any different in 24 hours, like this is how they're gonna look. They will just be like completely cured all the way through, but they feel pretty solid right now. Like it feels like a ceramic dish. So I am gonna let these set for 24 hours to completely cure, but there's no point in showing you what they're gonna look like when they're not gonna look any different than they do right now. I'm so happy with how my little trinket dishes came out. They look so good. And the great part about that eight pound bag of plaster is I have plenty left over to make more or to do different projects with. As always, I hope you enjoyed today's video as much as I enjoyed creating it. If you did like it, please let me know by giving me a big thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to drop a comment down below. I would love to hear what you guys think. And if you're watching this video and you're not already subscribed to my channel, then make sure you click that subscribe button down down below so that you don't miss out on my future videos. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys next time.